If you choose to use uh, text as one of your uh, background techniques, there's a lot of different directions you can take this. Uh, the example that I'm doing here in the video is using it as the entire background on a separate piece of paper, and then I would plan to cut out the picture and put it onto the text background that I'm creating right now that looks like this. Um, so it's up to you if you wanted to cut out your portrait if it works well. Um, if you have a shadow though or something going on in the background that you don't want to get rid of, um, you could instead just uh, draw right onto the background or write the text into the background or you could write the text on the face in a creative way. Um, but think about what you want to say if you're using text. So you could do a favorite quote, maybe a lyric, um, or poem or something that goes with the person that you did the portrait of. Um, but here's the example again. I cut out the portrait and then glued it on top of the background with the text. But there's many different directions that you can take things. Um, while you were watching me write out the text, you noticed and you can see on here how there's different sizes of text. I used the thick and thin Sharpie. I changed up the direction, so some's vertical, some's going straight across. Um, so be creative with your text and your font and how you're applying it onto your portrait.